Hey everyone, all right, I'm back. So now we're going to finish off this quilt and be done with it once and for all. And then you won't have to see my grouchy face every day anymore. So anyway, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to do the binding. I have gotten all my binding done. Um, it's right here, I've rolled it using my hand. Just rolled it up. And now we're gonna start binding this quilt and then it's going to be done and it's going to be fantastic so let's get started so chris is my handyman again and i think he's tired of man in our videos but he's doing a great job so thank you chris for yeah. manning our videos let's just do this all right so let's get this show on the road okay it's all yours so make sure that you're getting everything i got it all right so I'm going to start with my, my piece here, and when I ironed it, I folded it under just a little bit so that when I'm done, I can tuck my tail in there. You'll see what I'm talking about here in just a few seconds. I've got my quilt, my practice quilt sandwich. So here we go. All right. I'm going to start by placing that the folded edge that I have here wrong sides together although I better do this the right way because you know what I decided to do something different because normally I hand stitch a quilt on the back when I do the binding but this time I'm going to machine quilt it so I have to start on the back instead of the front all right I'm glad I remembered that before I started. That could have been a real problem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this, my raw edge, same thing that I was gonna do on the front side. I'm gonna put my raw edge against my raw edge. I'm not pinning, I'm not going to do anything like that. I'm just going to sew it on. I'm gonna start probably about down here about three inches down from where I have my first little folded edge. Get this straight. Your machine looks awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. I love this machine actually. It's uh, It's been very good to me. Mm -hmm. so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start there. And now I'm just going to start stitching and putting this binding all the way around on the quilt. And then I'll show you how to do the mitered corners when we get to the, to the edge. I'm also going to take a back stitch. And I'm going to try and move my thread. Alright. Here we go. I have a memory craft 6,000 for about 30 years. Wow, that's awesome. They last forever if you just take really good care of them. I still have um, my grandma's singer, and then I have my husband's um, grandma's Kenmore. And um, I use those every once in a while, too. I really like them for different things. One four inch seam. Yes, it's a quarter inch seam. That I am using. It is a quarter inch. starting to get close to the edge here so I'm going to just keep going until I get to that point 
and then I'll show you what we can do. Is the binding two inch doubled over? It's two and a half inches doubled over. Fold it in half. Okay, so now we're getting to the edge and I want to stop about a quarter of an inch, okay? At the edge. And I do mine a little differently than some people do. But uh, it works for me, <laughs> so I'm going to show you. Hey, thank you, Stacey. I appreciate that compliment. Stacy says, Anissa, you were lucky to have such a good cameraman. <laughs> Why, yes I am. He is pretty awesome, I have to admit it. Do you have the binding edge to edge? What do you mean edge to edge? I have the rough edge of the binding to the rough edge of the quilt. Is that what you meant? Is that what she meant? Okay. Yeah. Um, so now what I'm going to do, so I'm at my quarter of an inch, and I'm just going to take this and pivot my quilt. Oh my God, pivot. Really? So that I'm in the corner, and I'm just going to sew off the edge of the corner. And then I'm going to take my needle, I'm going to pull it out. Yes, that's what she meant. Okay, yes. So rough edges together. So I just pulled the quilt out. I'm throwing threads around on my table here. You said pivot. I immediately thought of Friends. Remember that scene in Friends where they're trying to move Ross's couch <laughs> to the front? And it's like, pivot, pivot, pivot. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I don't remember that. No? Oh, yeah. yeah it's such a classic scene. It's hilarious. Okay, so. Jeez. Things are flying off over here. So I've sewn off my edge, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fabric or my binding, and I'm going to take my thumb, and I'm going to create a 45 degree angle. Did you see that? I'm going to do it again. Sewn off at a quarter of an inch, sewn off the edge of my quilt. Okay, so I stitch straight down and then off to the side. Then I'm just going to take it and fold that up and then take my other thumb, okay, my other thumb, and then I'm going to place it like that. You want to make sure it's even. That's what I'm trying to do right here, right now. And uh, what it's going to do when we flip this is it's going to make a mitered corner. And there you see. So now I've got my rough edges again together, and I'm ready to start sewing. So I'm just going to put this under my sewing machine, and I'm going to start at the very top where we folded. And I'm just going to continue. I'm going to take a couple back stitches though, and now I'm just going to continue to go down the quilt. Someone said they love our commentary. <laughs> That's because we're goofy. No, I'm not. Oh, yeah, you are goofy. No. You know you are. If you want good, goofy commentary, you get Dad on this. Yeah. Yeah, your dad's pretty silly, too. You can get your sister in here and she could be walking like a dinosaur. <laughs> she would just talk the entire time and we let you explain. Talk, 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 talk. She My daughter loves to talk. Yeah. And talk and talk and talk. Okay, be nice to your sister now. It's nice. It's not, we're not insulting her. <laughs> But there are plenty of ways to do that, too. That's not nice. I said there are plenty of ways to okay, do that, too. Let's not talk about your sister anymore. Uh, okay. 
You're talking about my daughter. My sister. I may have to make you eat tomatoes if you're not nice. Is this the Harry Potter quilt? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. We're finishing it off. Thank God. Yeah. Chris is ready for this quilt to be done. <clears throat> I don't know who's more ready for it, me or him. Oops, Hubby just came over for a look as he thought he heard a tractor. I was a tractor? No, as he thought he heard a tractor. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I could see that. It was kind of noisy. Okay, more stuff flopping around on my table because I didn't clear it off. <laughs> I'm telling you, I really need my quilting room to be done. should start a petition for my husband to finish it. Okay. And this is probably the slowest process is just, you know, you want to make sure you got things on right. But the binding really isn't that hard. It's just a matter of... What sewing machine brand? This is a Singer sewing machine. It is a Confidence Quilter 7469. It's, um, an, it's a great quilting machine. I love it. <clears throat> I've probably had this for about five years. I got it brand new and... Probably one of my favorite machines. Binding a quilt does clean off a table real good. <laughs> yes, it does. And that's why you see thread and stuff flying off my table. <laughs> I forgot to take it off. I ain't cleaning that up. No. Yeah, that's not bad. Hey, but I did prepare this time, so I did re I did wind another bobbin, so if we run out, we're good. And I have a second spool of thread, just in case. All right. So I'm coming down to another corner. And again, we're going to do the same thing that we did before. We're going to stop at about a quarter of an inch and then sew off of the quilt. Wow, that was kind of cool of two of your viewers. One viewer asked, are you using a walking foot too? And another viewer answered, yes, she is. Yes, I am. And I will be honest with you. This is actually the first time with this project that I have ever used a walking foot. And I am hooked. I love using a walking foot. It's awesome for quilting. It's great for going through all those layers. I wished I had known a long time ago how great they were, but they scared me. Don't be afraid of the walking foot. It's amazing. You will love yourself for doing it. Okay. So I have gone and I have sewn off again the edge of my quilt. I'm going to... I hope they can see this. Is it blurry or clear? It's clear. Okay. Going to take this and push my thumb up underneath. And it's going to make this like little lip underneath. I wish I could see how that is folding up and then under. And you can use your thumb to help you push it so that it looks like that. Okay. It's a... You need to play with it. Just play with it for a little bit. When you start, you'll get it. You'll get it down. And then I'm going to start sewing from this point here all the way down again. I know you can't see that part on my machine, so I wanted to let you know where exactly I'm starting at. And it is right from the very top. I'm going to take some stitches and do a couple back. And then I'm going to sew down this, <clears throat> down this row. It's, 
it's actually easier not well it is for me anyway not to pin binding oh i'm sorry guys are you messing up man? somebody said none of this stuff was in camera view so none of it is i had so yeah oh, no chris i'm trying really? do you need to pull back i think i'm good i can see the sewing machine is it clear Yes, cloudy. we're good. Okay. Does the batting go all the way to the edge of the fabric sandwich? Yes. Yes, it does. And I had a question earlier about asking me if I liked sewing without batting in the middle when attaching the borders and the strips. I don't think I was clear when I gave those um, directions, but you have batting in between. So when we joined these strips together, there was already batting in between because you have the batting from your quilted block and you had your batting from your border. That was what was in the center, and that's what I was talking about when I said you can clip some of it out, but you're not just sewing on just fabric with no batting in the center. There's plenty of batting in there. So, Somebody says, um, I don't mean to be rude, but have you ever watched Missouri Star Quilt Tutorials? Yes, a million times. And I love them. Jenny Doan is amazing. Are you going to flip the binding to the other side when you get done? Yes. Yes, I am going to do that. What, Sophie? And I believe, because I did watch a, I actually watched a tutorial on uh, Missouri Star Quilt Company on how to do quilt as you go. And Jenny Doan does it a little differently than this. Oh, I know what the problem was. What? Okay. Some of the comments, when you do your corner, your hands get in the way of the view. Oh. He is focused, he's in focus, just hard to see around your hands. Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry, I'll try, but I don't, I don't know if I can why do is it my hands in the way. Why does it look like your binding <clears throat> is all the way to the edge? It is. I'm binding it to the edge of the quilt. How else are you going to attach it? So this is the back side of the quilt, okay? And I'm just binding the raw edge to it. I'm not hand sewing this, I'm machine sewing it. So I have to have my raw edges together and then when I flip it, you'll see what I'm gonna do. And you got mad at me for no reason. I'm not mad. No, you were, oh, okay. I'm not mad at anybody. I understand, it just didn't look like it was at the edge. Oh, okay, I got you. Yes, it's at the very, very edge, as you can see right here. And it could be because the camera can't zoom in enough because it's on live and it doesn't give you that, um, that feature to zoom. And when he does zoom in, it gets kind of blurred out, so. But yes, it is on the very edge. That's why I keep stopping to straighten it out every couple of uh, stitches here.
Yeah, you like this one. I have never bought or I have never made a quilt. I just I I so want to. LOL. What? Watching you, my gosh, you are a pro. Just love it. Thank you. <laughs> that was from Fiona Kachi. Thank you, Fiona. I'm just a lady who likes to sew. I I just I'm not I don't do this professionally. I actually work in real estate and I'm also an author and quilting is my hobby and so I just like to do this and I thought well I thought I would just share how I do my things and I'm glad you guys are all learning. I think that's terrific. If I can just help even a couple of you that's awesome. And yes, Julie, she is using a walking foot. Yes. Yep, it's a walking foot. You really do want to use a walking foot so that it can go through all the layers because you're going through, well, on this one you're going through, what, five maybe? I love the brown with, your, with that blue color. What size is your quilt? I don't know yet. I haven't measured it. I know. I'm a bad, bad person. Um, I haven't measured it yet, but when I do take the pictures at the end and I post them in the group, I will put, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll put the, uh, I'll put the dimensions of the quilt in there at that point. I meant to do that before I started and then I forgot because I was getting the binding ready and all that. So. How many quilts did you make before using the walking foot? Oh, jeez. Um. Sorry, sorry. You can't put your foot near the pedal, Chris. Um, wow, that's a really good question. I've probably made 20 to 25 quilts before doing it. This is literally the first one that I've <laughs> It's me. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, she thought somebody was wrong. Come here, Sophie. It was me. It's mom. Um, yeah, probably between 20 and 25 quilts. I mostly used my all-purpose foot, which which it worked great. But, um, boy, this made my life so much easier. Sophie, stop. It's my fault. When I found it on the machine, she thought someone was here. Okay, we're coming down to another edge. Okay, I'm going to try to keep my hands out of the way now. Um, so I'm going to sew down to about a quarter of an inch, which is right about here. Where the scissors are marking and my fingernail is. And then I've got that marked with an indentation there, so I know where to stop. But I mostly just eyeball. And now I'm going to take my quilt and I'm going to just... There went the rest of the thread. <laughs> the thread roll. And now I'm going to sew at a diagonal off. Like that. And then it helps if you lift your presser foot out of the way. You don't have to cut your threads, but I recommend doing it when you're doing this because if you don't, you're going to get a lot of thread bulk. And that can be a pain in the butt to deal with as well. Just makes it a little messier. But you can certainly leave that on. Holy smokes. This quilt is big. I'd say this is probably a twin size quilt at this point. But I don't know for sure. All right. So, can they see this? 
They can. Clearly? Yes. All right. So, I sewed off the edge. I stopped at about a quarter and I sewed off. Okay? Maybe a little more than the quarter. It's not a big deal. Going to take this piece of my binding to make the miter corner. And I'm just going to push it, push it up like this. So that it looks like that. You'll have this angle underneath it. I'll do it again. Hopefully you can see that without my hands being in the way. You're good. Taking that. I have to push it, sorry. And then doing it that way. So that's what it should look like. And then it should be line, your raw edges should line up again and you can start sewing from the top down, okay? And um, this one looks like it's fine, but I'm gonna make sure that it's nice and tight just so it fits in with. Apparently they can hear Sophie drinking water. I'm sorry. <laughs> The dog, because somebody says my dog sounds the same and she drinks water. <laughs> you hear everything in this house, I'm telling you what. I love dogs. I just, I, I love animals. I'm an animal lover. And my selfie is pretty spoiled. No, not at all. Her, uh, sorry guys. She only gets a bark box once a month. Yeah, she likes bark box. I don't get a bark box. <laughs> I'll buy you a bark box. No, buy me. A... I'll buy you. I'll buy you a bark box for little dogs so that you can get all their little chewy toys. You said you wanted a bark box. I said I wanted a slam crate. You wanted a bark box. You I... just said it. Everybody just heard you say. You I said a bark slam box. crate. My sons would complain about no bark boxes too, honey. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not alone. <laughs> yeah, yes, you are. Oh, it's too Sophie, honey, you're, you're, you're hurting the video. She's all right. Sophie, get down, babe. I love you, though, babies. Get down, Sophs. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Get Baby, down. get down. Get down. Good girl. Sit. She wants to go outside. I know she wants to go outside. She wants to go outside and bark. That's what she wants to do. We're almost, we're almost to a point where you can do that too. No, she is not. Moms of boys must unite. Oh, someone wants to see Sophie. <laughs> you can show him Sophie. Sophie, come here. Come here, babies. Say hi to the people. Sit. Say hi. Sit down. Sophie, sit. Good girl. Say hi. Say Look. hi. Hey. <laughs> Say hi. Okay. There you go. Okay. That's Sophie. She's a five-year-old black lab mix, and we got her from a puppy rescue. Oh, oh, come, oh. Come. And she was only... Four eight, weeks. She was four weeks old when we got her. And um, she was just a tiny little gal, but she sure is a sweetheart. Yeah, so, oh. People are like, oh, she's adorable. Oh, so you are, you are a beauty, cute, pretty, back, pretty black lab. She's so pretty. And she will lick you to death. Yeah, she is a sweetheart. She loves to give lots and lots of kisses. But she has to get to know you first. Yeah, and she loves to help me sew. She's very skittish. She is very skittish. Okay, let's see. Yay. What's a bark box? It's kind of like. Bark it's... box is a monthly subscription that you can get for your dog, and it varies in price, but you can get it in. Um, it has like two toys and three bags of treats, and 
Um, all of the products are made here in the United States, and so they're safe for your pets to have. And then the toys are, they're guaranteed. So like if your dog chews up one of their toys, if you take a picture of it on Facebook or Instagram and you send it to BarkBox, they'll actually send your dog another toy for free. So it's pretty cool. They have good customer service. Sophie loves their treats. Um, yeah, she picks what she wants. Yeah, she does. I taught her how to pick which treat she wants. And she, she's pretty good at that. It's cute. And that's why my house looks like a toddler lives here because... Technically a toddler does live here. Okay, she's five. She's not a toddler. She's a kindergartner. But anyway. Same difference. She um, loves to dump out all of her bark box toys all over the living room. And, you, which, and then you can clean them up and she'll just take them all yeah, right out. take them right back out of the basket. Yep. Which is funny because... She, she loves toys. I've never seen a dog who loves toys more than her. So BarkBox really does work for her. Um, our other dog, our Golden Retriever, who passed away, he was never interested in them. He just wanted uh -uh. Subway sandwiches. He loved Subway sandwiches. Don't get me started on that. You couldn't turn your back. He would eat them. I'm still bitter about that. But... Okay, so... Coming up to another corner, it's the same thing, about a quarter of an inch, right here. I'm just gonna mark it, probably a little more than a quarter, but we're good. I'm just gonna eyeball that spot, and then I'm gonna stop. And is, I'm gonna pivot. Is the binding attachment method easy enough for a beginner? Yes. Yes, it is. And then I'm going to just sew off. It is easy enough for a beginner. It will probably take you, if you're talking about yourself, I don't know if you're talking about yourself or someone else, um, but it will take, it'll take a couple, you know, times of really practicing before you get it down. But absolutely you can do that. You can bind a quilt using this method. Um, I've seen many different methods done while doing this and um, I will tell you I just posted a video in there um, earlier today I apologize for all of the videos but um, today I'm not working so um, where I was showing you how to make the binding so where you're sewing it at the diagonal to attach your strips for it if you're a beginner I would recommend sewing them just straight across regularly and then attaching your binding like this. Um, just until you get the hang of, of working with this before you start doing that, because it, it can get really um, confusing. So just practice, you know? Practice makes perfect and... We like the videos, okay. Okay, yay, I'm glad you're loving them. I didn't know if I was posting in there too much. But I just needed to get this done. So, all right. Is this the last side? No, the other side is the last uh -huh. side. We're almost there. I'm going to show you again. Here's off the quarter. Okay. I'm going to fold it up. I'm just going to fold it up and make this little, I don't know, it's like little swoosh up. And then you're just going to use your thumb. To line the top. You're good. Right there. And then you just start sewing down again, just like we did before. Okay? But I need to straighten mine out because I didn't get it quite, quite right. Are there videos from start to finish for this quilt? Uh, yes, there are. Um, hang on, I'm sorry, I'm trying to think and sew here, not fix this at the same time. 
there are, it, with the exception of the actual put piecing the blocks and um, putting them together. Okay, so I I didn't show you how to quilt the blocks and I didn't show you how I did all of that. I did show you how to attach each block using the little strips that were about that big to putting the whole quilt together. So there is videos and it is, it's under, on YouTube, under the crafty author and you should be able to see them there. And if you subscribe, I think I might be starting to post more over there. I'm definitely going to put these videos in there. And then um, I will also, I'm thinking about doing a quilt block a week where you can kind of follow along and then you can ask questions as you make your quilt blocks um, on how to do things. So, okay. But visit the Crafty Author on YouTube, become a subscriber, subscribe to the notifications, and then you'll, you'll see what we're going to be working on and um, we can kind of go from there. Now, understand I'm not a professional. I'm just a lady who likes to sew. And so I just think it would be kind of fun to have a group together that, you know, where we can have fun and chit chat and that sort of thing about quilting. And Sophie. And Sophie. I'll be quilt as you go that I'll be showing we'll be doing some other stuff too like how to do a quilt top how to do some free motion quilting and that sort of stuff and maybe I can learn a thing or two as well because I'm not I mean I'm okay at free motion quilting but I can't do the fancy schmancy stitches no way Do you set, or do you quilt the blocks separately? Yes. Yes, I quilt my blocks separately. And then I attach them with sashing. Same with my borders. We're getting to the very, we're getting to the, uh, where we need to start joining these two pieces together, so. Getting to the point where this is where people have differing opinions on how to do this. Okay? I'm going to show you how I do it. All right. I'm just going to stop right here and pull this out. So now I have these two, these two flaps. Okay, this is where we started. So here is that folded edge that I had pressed so I knew where to start at. Mm -hmm. Now you need to cut down and there's differing opinions on how far you need to go down. Um, I just kind of eyeball my stuff, but I'm going to go probably about... I don't know, maybe two inches, and I'm going to cut. So this is about two inches for me right here. Okay, I'm just going to cut this right here. It's kind of scary. Be sure that you want to cut it. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece and I am going to tuck it inside of the piece that I had where I started with the folded. And now you can see how it's laying flush. And now I'm just going to stick it back under the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch it down. Okay. Stitch on that seam just so it's there and it's going to hold it. And then I just back stitch when I'm done. Okay, so now that's done. All right, and I'll show you that where that piece was and how it's how it's doing. right here okay and it's all tucked in nicely and sewn together this part is open it's not going to matter because I'm going to go over it and top stitch it anyway um, but if you didn't like that you could put a couple of whip stitches in there and it would be fine so now we need to flip it over And we're going to fold, you're going to have to stand up for this question. Oh, shit. Be, oops, be careful of your mouth. All right. So now that you have your binding, you're just going to flip it over and you're going to just sew it down. You're just going to flip it and sew it down. So since we're going to machine quilt this, I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use, I think, a decorative stitch on this and then I'll show you when we get to our mitered corners here so it's going to be the same you're going to flip it and then it's going to fold and I'll show you that when we get to that point but um, I'm just going to start I'm just going to start sewing it down and we're going to be done okay so the stitch that I'm going to use for this is How wide was the binding cut? Two and a half inches. So I'm actually going to start. Can you post your YouTube channel? I'm not finding it. Yes. I will post that when I So I'm just going to start. Oh, Chris, can you go let her out really quick, please? Even though she's going to bark at everybody. You could have left the phone here. Right. Okay, Cujo. There goes Growly. We call her Cujo. So this is going to be a little tough because I didn't press this out. And I, so I'm going to be folding as I sew. Okay. And I didn't cut any excess off either. I don't know if I'm going out this the right way. Just bear with me here. I got to think about stuff for a second. I think that'll be all right. Okay. I'm going to use a zigzag stitch and hope it works. My machine's been kind of goofy when I'm using zigzag, so. Here we go. I'm going to back stitch that just a little bit. I want you to know that this is also my first time machine stitching a binding down. I have never done it before. Um, so we're gonna learn together today. So far, 
are so good. This is a lot different than hand stitching it. I'll tell you that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I like this. <laughs> Which do you prefer and why? I think I prefer the hand stitching. Um, oh, and why? I feel like I have more control over the, the binding. How wide is the zigzag? Yeah, I really have more control over the, the binding the binding when I hand stitch. That's interesting. Crazy. I just didn't. Huh. First time for everything. I think this might be really good to do on a baby quilt. You know, if you're just trying to make a baby quilt real quick. Um, but we'll see. I mean, it might be fine once I, you know, once we get going. Because now it's starting to loosen up a little bit. What is nice about it, though, is that when it's done, I mean, it is it is done. So, yeah, my freaking thread is being a butthead. No, oh, well. We're getting ready to come up on a corner. So, I'm going to show you how what we did when we did it on the back side how it's going to turn out for us on the front side could you press it flat first did i press what flat no first? could you press it flat you first could. you could and it would probably make it easier you most definitely could you could also pin it or clip it i'm just i'm just going at it this way because I'm, this is how I do a lot of things. I just kind of go. Um, but yes, you could certainly do that and it would probably be very beneficial. Yes. Oh, excuse me. And I would recommend that if you're just learning as well. So we're coming up to the corner. So what I have done is I have pulled this one out, okay? And now I'm just gonna sew to about right here and then I'm gonna fold the other edge and then I'm gonna pivot and I'm gonna just start sewing straight down You don't again. clip your corners. No, you do not clip your corners, where am I at? I'm trying to get a good close up here. Wow, why is this just not? Okay, so there's that, there's that, all right. I'm trying to get a close-up without it blurring. Oh, yay. So here we're at the edge of it, okay. So 
I've just straightened this piece out and then I am going to fold that piece up and it's going to make a corner and then I'm going to pivot my needle and start sewing down this side. No, I don't clip my corners. I probably should clip my corners. I've actually never heard of that. That's a great, that's a great idea. Pull that needle out. Hang on. I'm just going to pull my needle out and I'm going to just fold this down and I'm going to start sewing. I guess I should clip my corners. You know what? We're going to clip the corner. I've never done it, but we're going to do it today. I hope I did it right. <laughs> if not, let me know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and that's uh, crazy. I have never done that, but I can certainly see why you would. I just don't know why I never heard of that. Okay, this is the hard part. It's trying to get this maneuvered. Once you get it in there, though, you're golden. Okay? So I got it. We're good. Good now. Yay, we're good. We're good. Hey, thank you for that tip. That really was very helpful. Clip the corners. See, she's done 25 quilts and is still learning. I am still. I learn something new every time I sew. Every time. And see, and, that, and that's why I love this group, because we all learn from each other. We're all learning something. You know? It's, it's awesome. And I love it because everybody is positive. You know, everybody uplifts everyone. It's not negative and tearing each other down. I just, I, I appreciate that so much. This group really is my happy place. I love looking at all the things that people are making and it's just it's wonderful. You are being such a trooper. I thank you. Especially because I gotta use the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, you know, use the restroom. Okay. The quilt is actually for me. Um, I have never made myself a quilt before. I've made quilts for everybody else but me. So this one is mine. And it's funny because my husband thinks it's for him. And uh, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Honestly, it's so pretty. I don't even know if I want to use it or if I want to hang it. <laughs> so I guess if I end up hanging it, then I'm going to have to probably make myself another quilt, which isn't a bad thing. But... Um, yeah, I just, I haven't decided yet. I don't know. What did that one say? How many hours a day would you 
say you so? Well, it depends. Um, I would say that not nearly enough. Um, I mostly sew on the weekends and usually for about six hours I'll sew. If it's crappy weather, I'll sew for a longer period of time than that. But um, I work all week and um, I work full time. And I would really, I would say with this particular quilt, I've actually taken some time off. So Tuesdays are, are my days off. And so I've been sewing on my days off. But typically on Tuesdays is when I write my books. And so I've kind of taken a hiatus from writing and I've just been doing this. So typically the weekends, about six hours. Yeah. Um, this particular machine, I think is, I think it's about $300. Yeah, pretty sure it's about $300. I know that they had them on sale at Joann's this weekend. And, um, I think if you go on to, I think it's either QVC or HSN, they also have them. So... I love sewing, <laughs> but, um, awesome. I'm glad that you're going to finish Kathy. Yay. But yeah, so that's, um, that's kind of where it's at, but I do have to get back to doing some writing because I'm actually going to a large book signing in Las Vegas, um, in As August. A signer in August, yeah, as a signer, signing author. And so I need to really, I need to get another book out before I go to that signing. So my focus is gonna have to shift a little bit. That's why I was saying that, you know, I could definitely do um, like the, the quilt a week. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna turn it back over to Chris and we're gonna continue to attach this binding. It's looking pretty good, I must admit. I am, I am shocked. What kind of books do you write? I write romance, suspense, and also um, new adult. She basically writes books that go in the back of the in the back room of the bookstore. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I don't write books like Fifty Shades of Grey. They're nothing like that. Um, it's funny because a lot of my friends and family think that that's what I write, but it's not. <laughs> I write more heavy on the suspense than the romance, so. Sophie, I can't play right now. Oh, well, that's not nice. <laughs> well, I would love to buy one of your books. Oh, well, thank you. I am actually... <clears throat> Actually, the first book in my um, series is actually free on Amazon, so you could check it out. It's under Allison Rains, and that's A-L-Y-S-O-N-R-A-Y-N-E-S. -E can I just say, I love your name, Sherry Berry. That's awesome. <laughs> Sherry Berry. <laughs> I love it. That's pretty cool. Can you repeat the spelling? A L Y S as in Sam O N and it's R A Y N E S. I'm 
if you wanted to be really unique, you should have done an A L L Y S O N R A Y I R A I no R A Y I N E S. It's true. Just to be really extra about it. question here. So do you guys want to watch me quilt the entire, put the binding on the entire quilt, or do you want me to just finish with this last one? I know what I want finish you to do. It? Or, so how do you want me to do this? Because I know it's going to be kind of boring sitting there watching this. I wish I had seen it. You don't. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing good. I'll buy you a candy bar. I bought you Dairy Queen. Yeah. 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 Oh, Lunch. Yeah, yeah. I bought you ice cream. Huh. No, I didn't have to do that. Mom, you bought yourself ice cream too, so it really doesn't count. It counts. <laughs> it counts. I'm dying to see the other side. Okay. All right. Someone just downloaded your book. Awesome. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy it. Someone says they, li they love watching, but they got to start dinner. I understand completely. Thank you for watching. Oh, so maybe just... No, no, I'm not gonna... no Christian, just... My thread is messing up, and I just really don't know why. I mean, it's fine, but it's not doing what I want it to do. And I think it has to do with here. So it keeps getting a little bit loose, some of the tension. But if I mess with the tension, then it's going to screw up everything else. I'm going to come over and hang out with you two. <laughs> Trust me, no, you don't. You're welcome. Amy. You will get in trouble easily. <laughs> oh, it's because my bobbin came loose. Yeah, figures, right? When you're right in the middle of something and that stupid bobbin does what it does. When me and Mom get together, it's trouble. We're like Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> yeah. We're all a Yo. bunch of practical jokers in this family. Yo. Yo. <laughs> yeah. That's just, yeah. <laughs> Where do you guys live? Denver, Colorado. Which is not even cold today. No, it's beautiful. I'm sweating. Actually. It's like 80 degrees here in Colorado today. It was 80 degrees yesterday, too. And what's what kind of funny is everybody thinks Colorado is so cold, but it's really not. I mean, it does get cold. Yeah. But we run around mostly in jeans and a sweatshirt throughout the winter. We got one from California. Awesome. That's Sherry Berry. Hi, Sherry Berry. How's the beach? Did you go to the beach today? And uh, Anna Wilcrix. Oh, Will. I don't know how you pronounce the last name. It's from Florida. Oh, my gosh. What's the weather uh, like in Florida today? Donna Williams asks, what is the value of this live post? I don't know. I don't know either. I guess you'll learn how to... Put binding on a quilt? Mm. 
Maybe you invest in some type of stand so your son doesn't hurt himself holding the camera. I'm sitting down right now, so I'm good to go. <laughs> it's good for him. Mom? Yeah, it really is. I mean, I got to stand for four hours every Tuesday, so. <laughs> it's good for him. Plus, he helps his mom out. Oh, yeah, it's just the icing on the cake. See? Such a good boy. Hey, we got someone from the UK. Yeah, we have lots of people on there from all over the world. A lot of people are coming to your video defense. Oh. That lady asked, you know, what's the value of this video? Someone goes, worth millions to quilters. Well, that's okay. You know, that's just it. You know, some people don't, some people just, I don't know. It's like I said before, I just don't let, I don't let people bother me, so whatever. As long as, you know, you guys find value in what I'm doing, that's all that matters to me. That's it. Oh, someone's from Delta, Colorado. Oh, really? Nadine Ray. Hi, Nadine. Hello, I'm from the UK. Love hearing your or loving loving your quilt. Thank I have you. just started the project of Doom Quilt. You have? Only oh, only done a couple of the blocks so far though. Oh my gosh. This is the project of Doom Quilt. So I've only done well, I did twenty of the blocks. There's like 30, I think. And you see how big this one is. So I can't even imagine how big 30 blocks for this quilt would be. But yeah. um, it's a fun it's a fun project to do. Definitely do it. We got someone in we got someone watching from uh, Quebec. Quebec, Canada. Quebec, Canada. Awesome. And we got one from uh, Mississippi. Welcome, you guys. Welcome. I'm from Ontario, Canada. Awesome. Never been to Canada. I nah. would like to go there. Someday. I got friends that live in Canada. Oh, we got one from Michigan. Welcome to. I'm from Michigan. Remember that scene in Mean Girls? I'm from Michigan. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is Kay. This is Caddy. She's yeah. from Africa. I Welcome. I I'm from Michigan. From Michigan. Got one from Missouri. I've been to Missouri. So Missouri? Have, misery. Missouri. As my grandma used to put it, Missouri, because we had family down there, and that's how she always pronounced it, was Missouri. Mm -hmm. Missouri? Uh-huh. I don't know if that's <laughs> the right Two from Michigan. Never been to Michigan. We're worldwide, baby. I know, it's awesome. Roll. England, Canada, yeah. Michigan. It's nice that everybody's on here. It's nice to make new friends around the world. Watching in St. Louis. Montreal is having their 375th anniversary this year. Wow. Lots going on. Great place to visit. That is really cool. It, okay, so tell me, is it super cold in Canada? I mean, I know it gets cold up there, but is it really, like, freezing, freezing cold? Because my husband hates the cold. St. Joseph, Missouri. Or whatever MO stands for. Yeah, Missouri. Okay. Well, we had a cup, we had a cold winter some days. Weather is warming up now. How warm does it get in the summertime up there? Say hi to the people. Say hi to the oh people. Oh my god, we have one more to go. Say hi, Sophies. Say hi. Yeah. All right. Two hot Sundays, 80s and 90s. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow, really? So it's like Colorado. It gets really warm up there. Okay. If your husband doesn't like the cold, you need to move to Arizona. Uh -huh. 
He, he, yeah. You know what? He wants to move to um, Hawaii. Because we are humidity people. We love the humidity. But <clears throat> we just had a brand new, a brand new, geez, I can't even talk. Um, a brand new grandbaby in January. And so, well, I don't know if I could leave him. <laughs> but I can't leave my nephew. I've been to uh, Phoenix, and I don't know. I think it's, I'm not an Arizona fan. I mean, it's it's that dry heat. It's like here, it's dry, and I, I do prefer the humidity as well. I'd be, I think, more inclined to move to Florida. So if I know you're just looking for a tangent, but, big girl, but like I gotta I said, focus. Like I new grandson. Don't know if I could leave him. He's awful cute. I love you so But can you get down? Plus, my whole family is here. I was born and raised here. Mm-hmm. And, uh... All my buddies are here. I just don't know. I'd, need like, to, I'd need, like to move, uh, but I don't know. Need to move to Prescott, Arizona. It has real trees. Oh, oh. it has I real trees. About that. You want real trees? Yeah. You want real trees? Okay, I'm struggling here, folks. I, I got, got her to show me her teeth. Yeah, I don't know. yeah she hasn't shown her teeth, like, huh? Christian, you need to be focusing on this. Not the dog. I am focusing on this. I don't know why this is all of a sudden getting fits again. It was going real easy for a moment there, and now it's not. So, kind of struggling with this a little bit. Not sure what's going on. Could be I'm just getting tired. No solves. All right, I'm going to stop right here, and I'm going to show you what the binding looks like on the back just so you can see it and on the front. And then I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to finish this, and then I will post pictures afterwards, and I will show you what the, uh, and I'll tell you what the dimensions are as well. What? I'm going to see if you go. Yeah, you can go. All right, so here's the front, and as you can see, there's that zigzag stitch that I used on the front side. Here is the mitered corner. After I clipped the edge, it was perfect, so thank you so much for that. But as you can see, the it's all sewn down. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to show you the back. So here is the the back side of it right here. Well, there you go. Now you can see it. So it looks really good. And I'm actually pretty impressed with it. Um, so that's, that's what we're looking at. So you can see kind of where my, where I, when I had to go in, my bobbin came loose right there. So I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to sign off and I'm going to finish this quilt now because I think you guys have kind of gotten the, the point. I don't want to bore you with any more. There's like, there's a whole nother side and a big long side. So thank you so much. And like I said, I will, I will be in touch. I will post this video on the crafty author along with all the other videos. Thank you so much. I just want to thank you all for your support and for, um, you know, for watching. It's been really fun and great. And I am going to do the quilt block, um, quilt block a week thing. So if you're interested in that, just come on over to the crafty author on YouTube and we'll start that and we can all kind of talk and, and get together and do that. So I will see you all soon and take care. 
बाय